we woke up in Port Canaveral. It is early, it's like 10 to 7. We have a staff meeting at 7 o'clock. And what are we doing today, Jill? We're actually going on a carnival cruise. We are going on the Mardi Gras, and we are so excited for this new adventure. So let's head on down to our staff meeting, grab some breakfast, and then head to the port at 9 o'clock. All right, meeting is over. We are going to go take our picture, so every group takes a group photo picture right for the cruise. Oh. Joe, what day is it? It's cruise day. And actually today we are doing something that we haven't done in over 15 years. And we've had about 25 cruises in between, but we are getting on a carnival ship. We are going on the Carnival Mardi Gras for the next seven days. And we are so excited. This week we are volunteering with Autism on the Seas. And we're so excited to go meet all of our families and get on board. So it is currently 8.43. We're heading out at 9 a.m. to get mm -hmm. to the port and get all checked in. So come along with us for our next seven nights. First up, staff group photo. Let's see if this is up the right way. Oh. There we go. There we go. Till we actually get onto the ship, but we are gonna check in and then wait for our families. Yes. Okay, it's currently 11:17, and this is the craziness of the tour. first stop of the cruise. It is complimentary and included. Jillian is eating some right now and she said it was really good. Of course, immediately after lunch, I'm going for two espressos. And I didn't realize that espressos would be free here on Carnival, so this is game changer. I'm sure I will be drinking a lot of this rather than what I thought would be the drip coffee. All right, lunch is now finished. It was delicious. Rach, what did you think of so it? So impressed. We've heard yes. amazing things about yeah. this food, and it's already living up to the pipe, and they have a really good coffee espresso oh, machine. Oh, yeah, so that made our day. We both had double espresso, so yes. it's delicious. Now we're headed to our muster station to go check it out. Just a few of the first looks of the inside of the ship. It is honestly so beautiful. And now we're looking for a mustard station. Success, C6, we found them right in the middle of everything. So this is definitely different than our previous mustard stations. We actually had to scan in and now we're waiting for a demonstration for the life jacket, I believe. So definitely different than Royal Caribbean or even Virgin Boys. Definitely, it takes about probably like an extra five minutes. We're just waiting for the demonstration. Okay, our muster station is complete. That really was quite quick. It was just waiting around for them to start the demonstration. Now, we're gonna try and get to our stateroom. What's our stateroom number, Rach? Not a clip. But, oh, 4383. The doors are open that you can like go into the hallway, so that's a promise. It says odd numbers this way, 4383, okay. We usually just room with us two on these AOTS cruises, but because it's carnival, and it was really this way. forward. Busy ship, there's our room. There's four of us, so. Yes. Yes. It will be quite tight in our room, I'm expecting, but let's check it out. I'm looking in now. Okay. Just, uh, Here's our roommate. <laughs> yeah. Getting a key and going in now. She's a natural. <laughs> I guess we should grab our key. Actually, I'll wait for a minute. Oh, why is the light coming oh, up? Oh my god. Ah. Oh. Ooh, it's going to be bad. tight in here. Yeah. It is nice though. I will say it's yeah. like very bright and modern, but yes, yeah, so someone will be sleeping up here, <laughs> then there, here, and here. Four of us. 
but we'll, we'll, make, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. We'll have lots of fun. Why didn't you tell me my makeup was everywhere? Oh yeah. Oops. Chuckles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's currently 2:20. We've been on board for about two hours. We've mm -hmm. had lunch, which. We ten out of, well, both were very impressed. I don't want to give tens yet, but no. it was incredible. Like it was good. Eight and a half out of ten. It was so good. Yes. And then we went to our master station, which you saw, and then we checked out our cabin, which, of course, it's small for four people, <laughs> four grown adults, but we're going to make it work. It'll be totally it's fine. beautiful, though. Yeah, we are impressed with how bright and modern it is. And now we're just walking around the ship. We wanted to get to the outer pool deck. We ended up on deck 18 at the front of the ship, which is the Serenity area, yeah. I believe. Um, and and we have no idea where to go to get to the middle of the ship. So we're just gonna walk around and explore. Mm -hmm. So far, how yeah. are you liking it, Rach? On, we'll share a lot more. You know what, maybe we'll even do a sit down video of talking about our experience on Carnival compared to Royal and Virgin, our definite favorite cruise lines. Mm -hmm. um, but we're really impressed. Like we said earlier, it's been about 15 years since we've been on a Carnival ship. It was the Carnival Glory, which is a, much older, much smaller ship, and we have heard amazing things about Carnival's newer ships, which is one of, Mardi Gras is one of them, and it's mm -hmm. huge, and we are so impressed. Yes. Maybe I'm speaking too soon, um, but the food's been great. It's really quiet, like I don't know where everybody is. Maybe they're on the middle, maybe they're in ready for sail away, yeah. which we have heard is a great party, so we're yeah. excited for that. Food's been good everything anyways we have about 20 more minutes until we do have a meeting so we're gonna keep walking around we'll show you where we end up what we like about the ship what mm -hmm. we aren't huge fans of and throughout the next week as well we'll obviously update you on how our experience yeah. is on the Mardi Gras but we're super excited to try something new that's why we chose this cruise trying something new giving carnival another shot yes and meeting some incredible families so let's go see this sail away Welcome to the fun ship. I think that's what they call it. I don't know. <laughs> it's quiet. Why is there nobody on the ship? Something I'm noticing right away is there's one main pool for a ship this big. I don't know how I'm going to feel about that. One pool in the middle of the ship. Where Maybe are the rest? More. We haven't. We yeah, haven't there must be more. All right, this is the Lido deck. And I also do assume that there will be deck chairs out here a little bit later. Um, this is just for sail away. We are walking through. Uh, the Lido, I think. Okay, it's not the Windjammer. It's the buffet on board. Yeah. And um, we are headed to the Tides Pool, which is all the way at the back of the ship on this deck. I think we're deck 16. Um, but it's kind of odd that we have to walk through the it is. bay to get to a pool. Possibly there's another way that we aren't sure about. Anyways, this is our first look at the buffet because yeah. we ate at the Pagan Anchor for lunch. It looks really nice and yeah. modern. I mean, here. one thing I will note, Jill, did you notice this carpet? <laughs> not really. <laughs> but I like the blues and everything. Yeah, it's pretty. And there's tons of tables. It's definitely not as busy as the Windjammer usually is on embarkation day. That's true, and it's really spread out. And yeah, it's air conditioned. The food yet. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite large. Here, are just a quick look at some food options. All right, at the back of the Lido is, we ran into big chicken, which we're definitely excited to try. Oh, wow, yeah. This line is not, yeah. We're, we only have about 15 minutes till a meeting, so we will definitely be returning. Lots of sauces. And we ended up at a pool whatsoever but I will say this food looks quite good. Yeah what's around the corner too? We're honestly just seeing this ship for the first time with you guys just exploring. We tried to watch a couple ship tour videos but it's a lot. It's hard to put into perspective where things yes. are but I yeah, I think it's so cool. It's so cool, and we we took our time watching the food review videos, which I think we'll make one of those. We'll definitely try to do a ship tour as well, so stay tuned for that. But let's just keep exploring. Oh, there's the bolt, the roller coaster on board. So many of you guys told us that we have yes. to do bolt, so 
stay tuned if we're brave enough. All right, we've come up to deck 17. We're headed to midships, and we have found. He's running into food places. This is Guy's Burgers. It's quite the line right now. Again, this is on our list to come back to, but it smells and looks delicious. And look at all those toppings. This is so weird. This is so new to us, not knowing our way around the ship. These maps have been our best so, friends. I think we're headed to deck six. Yeah, back. so currently, woo, here we are, whoop, here, and we need to make our way to the conference room for a minute. An elevator, finally. They have been a little slow today. I mean, it is embarkation day, that is expected. This is beautiful. Are you kidding? Look at this, wow. And Rach made a good point. It kind of looks like Royal Caribbean's anthem yeah, class. class. Yeah, like right before you head into like the promenade. The esplanade. Yeah, this is really nice. Is this the I still don't know where I am, but. But it looks very nice. Oh, is this a cafe? Possibly? Yeah, it says they are closed, but. Very nice. Everywhere you go, I can smell food too. I feel like they have so many food places around the ship. We just kept running into food places. We could do a food tour with it. Yeah, we have to try everything. First time getting lost. It's literally hiding. But we found the conference room. We actually have to go a little bit. Not that probably any of you really ever will need the conference room, but you have to go a little bit into the restaurant to find the conference room. All right, first look. Hello. Interesting, interesting, okay. Oh, I like that there's windows in here. This is the room. It's currently 3.41 and it looks like the sail away party is going to start very shortly. We do have this entire section reserved for our families, which is amazing. We'll have a perfect view of the main pool deck and the whole party. I've heard that there's nothing like a carnival sail away, and I already believe it. Each and every single one of you, now I need you to release that energy today. From here on now, all your trouble's gonna go away. So I'm gonna count down from 10. Here we are taking the stairs. So healthy. Um, <laughs> but it's not at choice. Um, these elevators have been the worst elevators I have ever experienced. So on any ship. Slow. But anyways, we just had the best possibly sail away that we've ever watched. It was so crazy. Quick little announcements. We did not miss this on Virgin. <laughs> So here is our reserved seating for the entire cruise. We're just waiting for some families to show up. Setting up the respite room. This respite room looks a little bit different than our Royal Caribbean ones, eh, Jill? Yeah. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. Welcome back to the vlog. <laughs> oh, what a day <laughs> it has been. Yes. It's currently 8.52. We don't really know where we're going. We still haven't fully explored yes. the ship. So that's our goal tonight is to go find some live entertainment. Yes. 
maybe coffee i think just a little bit it's early like we got off quite early we have had a busy day with incredible families um honestly still really impressed other than one complaint jill what's yours probably the same uh, my mom her husband and um what's my complaint oh elevators <laughs> i can't believe oh you had to God. think about that they are horrendous but that's like, just another reason that we should be taking the stairs yeah that's true and it could be an embarkation thing so keep up with the vlogs to see if it's always if like it gets this, any better it is horrible and honestly people are being really rude about them we have some families that need to get in with like scooters or wheelchairs, or wheelchairs strollers and people are just no we're not even there and they're just in front so some people are like um, actually pushing others out of the yeah, way it's so. not that has not been fun but besides that incredible dinner oh my god like <gasps> so good rachel and i both cake. got the same thing as our main and did not disappoint better than royal caribbean shall i say not quite as good as virgin but i don't know if any cruise line will ever be as good as virgin but i did also have to get shrimp cocktail and cheesecake because that's always what i get on royal caribbean and compare. i just had to kind of compare it i'd say they're very similar. very similar i don't think either one is really better yeah. than the other but the ship is beautiful um we will definitely be showing you more um i know this is probably the morning part of this or the first half of this vlog was all over the place but we're definitely gonna show you a lot more there's so much going on in terms of entertainment um it's kind of like a little overwhelming we can go to like four different venues and then mm -hmm. the nightclub opens at midnight does it i didn't even look at the so schedule we would love to take you there and we would love to see it and compare it to of course royal and even virgin um but no promises on making it that late let's see if this espresso but yeah that's why we're headed to go does grab anything um but honestly so far great embarkation day um okay we're taking the elevator guys let's see how long it takes well there's nobody over here we're right. on like the back uh, front. Just kidding, we're at the front. Um, Rachel's yeah. lost. <laughs> this ship is so confusing. It is, but we also haven't had time to explore it on our own. Yeah, but I don't think there's like an open promenade part where things are branching off. It's just like a whole bunch of little rooms. Um, but the ship's take a look at the map. Yeah, like I said, it's beautiful and it's so bright. I need sunglasses. Guys, okay, so we're currently here. We don't really know where we're headed. I think these are definitely the main decks is six, seven, eight. So probably a place with food will have where we can get coffee. They have the, es excuse me, the espresso machines. Oh, that wasn't too That wasn't bad. too bad. Still longer than other ships, but that's all right. Oh, um, <laughs> we still don't know where we're going. Go, why are we taking an elevator? Why don't, oh yeah. Eight. Okay, let's go up to eight, just so that it's reasonable to take an elevator up four decks. Grand Central. So that's like the promise. Oh, Grand Central. Yeah, Grand Central is fine because that is um, where center stage is also. That's the top deck of, that you can see center stage. And I did see some type of show going on oh. earlier. So cool. So it's like a center something. stage, like in like the middle of the show. Yeah. yeah. Cool. They also do have a regular theater as well. So. Okay. Here's Chebang, which I believe we're gonna come here on night number five. It is a Mexican and Chinese cuisine. And we have arrived to Grand Central. It's loud. Uh, probably some glass bread here. So there's a sandwich shop here and then the pizza place right here. And I heard it's open till 4 a.m. Um, we'll definitely not be up that late on this cruise, but if you are, I guess that's a good option for an early morning snack. I also think we can go outside there. So we should grab a coffee and go oh, outside and then we can okay. game for tonight. Sure, sounds good. Okay. All right, we have found some coffee. It's not the espresso that we wanted because they were cleaning the machine, which is totally fine. This is probably all we need. I think I just have to hold it. Okay. Looks good still. I'm happy with that. Perfect. And Rachel's turn. And they have some, it looks like milk, cream, sugar, anything you would need. We are just sitting out here on deck number eight on the outer deck. We both have our coffee and our water. It's 9:10, and we're gonna figure out on the app what we're doing tonight. Mm -hmm. There's lots of things like we said. This is a really good spot. 
it's so busy in the ship. Like, it, yeah, you can really tell it feels busy. How busy, like the ship is sold out. Um, but there's lots of like little little spots to just kind of get away. I think Rachel and I both agree that that was probably the best comedy show that we've seen in a really long time. And now we're actually headed to the Pig and Anchor, which is where we had lunch. They apparently have late night bites from 11 to 12.30. Um, not sure what it'll be, if it's their normal barbecue or if it's something different. So let's I'm check it out. Just a little snack. Oh, what? They said it would be open. It's closed. Maybe inside. It smells really good. Maybe inside. Let's check out inside. We don't know. We're figuring it out. Oh, great. There's a line. It's definitely inside. There's a line for the late night bites. Apparently, it's a known thing, I guess. Oh, yes. It is right here. Mm, it smells so I remember good. It's Not really sure how our balloons are over there. Must have been from lunch. But anyways, this is what they are offering for late night eats. Pizza, french fries. I'll just show you. It looks really, really good. Really healthy late night snack for us. But it looks delicious. It's honestly nice they have these options because the pizza line was the pizza line was very long. Very long. But we do have to try pizza sometimes. Yes. Cruise. Comedy number two. Comedy show number Comedy two. Show. <laughs> we are tired if you can't tell. Um, we're only three minutes early, so we better get in there and hopefully get a seat. Comedy show is finished, last stop of the night, but it does say please use other door, so we're gonna go find that other door. So curious how this nightclub compares to Virgin and Royal. I mean, how, okay. how busy it's been and party like it's been. Okay, <laughs> grabbed our water for the night and we are headed back to our cabin we did stop in I think it's the limelight lounge which is the club here on board the Mardi Gras and we stayed for a few a songs it was really busy like yes too busy crazy busy the bar to get a drink looked like we saw people just being like yeah we not gonna happen leaving the club to go to a different bar to grab drinks but yeah it was good it would be really good with friends um it's but there's also vibe. so many people that you could meet and make friends. I agree. Um, really different vibe than other cruise lines. It's hard to like even compare, but it was good. Very, very busy. So uh, now we're headed to bed after a very full and busy day. busy day. We are so tired and we have breakfast in the Lido Marketplace at 7.45. So we're going to get some sleep. Mm -hmm. And thank you so much for watching our embarkation day vlog yes. here on Mardi Gras. Again, our first time on Carnival in over 15 years. So pleasantly surprised so far. Let's see how the rest of the cruise goes. If you've made it all the way to the end, please be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss six more days on board at Mardi Gras. Also, yes. comment below Ooh. your favorite cruise line. If it's Carnival, <laughs> if it's Royal, if it's Virgin, if it's Princess, any of the cruise lines. Yeah, we'd love to know. Um, um, and please be sure to stick around to see if our opinions on Carnival change. But so far, it's impressed. been really good. Yeah. <laughs> yes. so let's, let's get some sleep. See you tomorrow.